Hello my Facebook friends, it's Trisha coming to you from Southern Vermont and very late Sunday night. Everybody getting ready for Monday and psyched or what? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you real quick about what is keeping you from losing weight. And when I mean, when I say weight, I don't really mean weight, I mean fat. So just in my experience, what I see um, with my clients is, and the people who <laughs> walk away, <laughs> is the first problem is, and it always starts here. So this is what we're gonna be talking about tonight. I'm not gonna be talking about food or exercise. It starts when you compare yourself to other people. And that is just the killer right there. And it just, it's completely self-defeating. There's no way that I'm gonna compare myself to Rich Froning although I would love to be as strong as him. It just, it shuts you down and it puts you in that you, where are you gonna go? I mean, what are you gonna do with that? And how does that, how does that help you? So where, what that does is people say, well, it just, it is what it is. Well, if you say it is what it is, then it will always stay that way. So I'm just gonna relate my story to you and tell you how different it was when I finally lost the weight and kept it off. So. I think every time I would try a new diet, and I mean, I tried them all, I did them all, and I would lose weight and then I would gain it back, and I would be a size eight, and then I would be a size six, and then I would go back up to a size 12, and I ended up being a size 16. Okay, I'm really small. If you can imagine that, I had to go to the fat people store and buy jeans that had like the expandable waist. That was the heaviest I ever was, and I went from that to a size two <laughs> and I haven't budged from a size two for nine years now and the difference was and I'll start with it is what it is the difference was I got out of the is what it is mentality I just I got out of it I got you know I got my ass kicked out of it and instead of saying it is what it is I said to myself I am gonna be different it, it is not gonna be what it is it is gonna be something else. And my vision was always on what I was going to become. So whatever I did, whether it was, you know, running, I started by running, and then I started working out. Whatever it was, there was always that vision of what it was going to be. I wasn't stuck in it is what it is. And sometimes I would catch myself comparing myself to like the leader of the boot camp because she was like really, uh, what we call toned, right? And I was like, wow, I wonder if I'm ever gonna look like that. And then I just would stop myself. I said, stop it, this is your journey. You're going at your speed. Just keep going and going. Because when we compare ourselves to other people and they are way ahead on their journey and we're right here, often what happens is it just, we stop. So whenever we're, I mean, I just would like to ask you, when you just say fuck it to your diet, or you know, when you, you, you're trying to lose weight and you just stuff your face full of donuts or whatever, what's going on with you right in that moment? Because I can't really, you know, I say the reason you can't lose weight, but you know why. You know why you fall off. Is it because you're trying to use deprivation? Is it because you're trying to white knuckle yourself through change? Is it because you're not attached to the vision of how it can be? So you always have to think about, you have to get into how it's gonna feel when you get there. So still, every single morning, every morning, I'm just gonna lay it out there for you. Every morning, I just envision what it's gonna feel like when I can dive into the ocean and swim out to a sailboat. <laughs> Cause like, I wanna have that kind of energy going into, you know, being 80. So there's always this vision of what it can be. So if you're comparing yourself to other people and you're just saying it is what it is, it's just gonna stay exactly the same way. I hope that makes sense. I mean, I can tell you what to eat and I can tell you how to exercise, you know, till the cows come home. And there really are cows here. <laughs> but until you get into your head and you fix this, you stop telling yourself the same old story. So what if diets have failed a million times? Who cares? Like just because it, the past, what's happened in the past has nothing to do with what can happen in the future if you let go of the story. So that's what I that's what I was thinking about tonight. I was just thinking about how there was this just turnaround in my head when I finally just decided I'm done being fat. I just, I'm done. And it wasn't like, 
it was just a different thought process. I was no longer thinking about how I was going to deprive myself and how I was going to force myself to get up and jog in the morning before my kids woke up. It was different. It was like, I'm going to feel different. I'm going to do different. It's going to be different. Like I just, I just had a vision of what it was going to be like and I just felt it. And it was all like on this feeling thing. And I just didn't let myself get caught down, caught in the comparison thing at all. And I was like working out with these like 25 year olds. It was crazy. These people were super fit. I was, every time I went for a workout, every time I went for a training and I was learning and I went to these events, every single time I was by far the oldest person there. Absolutely. And I just, so I, you know, comparing myself to those kids was fruitless anyways. You just, I just had to pat myself on the back and say it, you know, I showed up and I didn't barf. <laughs> I didn't. So, you know, my message really is get your mind right. Just stop telling yourself the same old stories and, you know, you know what, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Nothing special about me. I was fat forever. <laughs> and now, now I'm not. So if I can do it, you can do it. And it all starts right here. So I really appreciate you guys. I, we all need to go to sleep now because tomorrow's Monday and we have to get our sleep so we can wake up and crush the week. So thank you so much for watching. And if you would like a workout plan, send me a message. I would love to send you my, I have a great uh, dumbbell workout plan. I just totally love. It's basically how I got ripped. <laughs> because you know, if you lift weights, you're going to burn more fat. I wasn't going to talk about the details, but hey, hey, Ruben, you should be going to sleep. Like, Ruben, we need to get up. I don't know. You're up at ridiculous o'clock in the morning, too. I'm going to get up at 4.30. I'm sleeping in. I'm <laughs> giving myself an extra half an hour. So we're going to go to sleep and uh, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey, Dennis.